Hello students, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSI PU College, Mysore. So today is our second session of Chapter 8 Data Types. In the previous session we have discussed about what is a data type and what are the different types of data types are there. But in today's session we are going to discuss about modifiers. So what is a modifier? A modifier is used to alter the meaning of the base type so that it more precisely fits for the needs of various situations. So in modifiers there are of four types that is short, long, signed and unsigned integers. We can use short for small integers. It, it ranges from minus 32,000. 767 to plus 32,767. An example for short type is short A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When it comes to long type, if we need to store large integer, then we can use long modifier. So it ranges from minus 2147, 483647 to 2147483647. And next type is signed and unsigned integer. What is signed integer? In signed integer, it holds both positive as well as negative integers, including 0. An example for this is signed int x is equal to 23. So here it represents it is a positive number. Next, in the next example, signed int y is equal to minus 13. This represents it is a negative number. And signed int z is equal to 0. Here it is holding 0. So, sign, in sign integer, we can store both positive number as well as negative number including 0. When it comes to unsigned integer, here unsigned integer is used to hold only the non-negative integer values. It is used to store only non-negative integer values. An example for non-negative integer values are unsigned int x is equal to 2 which represents it is a positive number and unsigned int y is equal to 0. Here 0 is a positive number. So this is about modifiers. And next type of data type is derived data type. What is derived data type? Derived data type is nothing but the data types which are derived from simple data types or fundamental data types. Such type of data types we call it as derived data types. An example for derived data types are arrays. functions pointers etc so we shall study about these data types in detail in further chapters and next type of data type is user defined data types what is the meaning of user defined data types the data types which are derived from simple data types are called as user defined data types which is nothing but defined by the user. An example for user defined data types are structure, union and enumerated data types. Structures, union and enumerated data types. So in this chapter we are going to study about only enumerated data types. In the later chapters we are going to study in detail about structures and unions. So now let's concentrate on enumerated data type. So what is an enumerated data type? Enumerated data type. An enumerated data type is a user defined data type which consists of a set of named constants called enumerators. It is a 
user defined data type it is a user defined data type which consists of set of named constants named constants called enumerators enumerators here enum is a keyword which automatically assigns the values 0 1 2 3 etc now let's see how to define and declare a enum data type So this is for the definition of enumerated tag and this is for the declaration of the variable of type enum of type enum an example for this is enum Example for this is enum, my enum type alpha, beta and gamma. So here this alpha is going to be assigned the value 0 automatically. Alpha is equal to 0. Then beta is assigned 1 automatically and gamma is assigned 2 automatically. This is how it is going to be used when the default values to be assigned automatically in the program then in such cases we are going to use in a data type. Now let's see a simple program to explain this enumerated data type. We can use this enumerated data type uh, in the case of uh, printing the days of the week and to print the months of the year then we can use this enumerated data type. First I am going to include the required header files as include ivostream.h so this is the supporting file for seen and see out and next data file is ash include conio.h this includes basic functions like clear screen and get ch enum week so here I am going to write the list of values Sunday Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So here the return type of the main is in type because it is going to return a value. Week today. So here we are declaring a variable of type enum. Today is equal to Wednesday. See out. Day is equal to today plus one. 
return zero. So it is going to print. So here we have declared a variable called today of type enum data type. So enum type that is week. Next today is equal to Wednesday. I am going to initialize a value for the variable today that is Wednesday. So here I am going to print day is equal to today plus one. So what will be the output? What will be the output? Wednesday. So here Sunday is initialized the value zero automatically. Monday is initialized as one. Tuesday is initialized as two, and Wednesday is initialized as three. So what is three plus one? It is nothing but four. Day is equal to four. So the output is day is equal to four. So this is a simple program for enumerated data types. So in this session we have discussed about modifiers. What is a modifier? A modifier is used to alter the meaning of the base type so that it more precisely fits to the needs of various situations. In modifiers there are of four types that is short, long, unsigned and signed integers. When it comes to derived data types, derived data types are the data types which are derived from simple data types. Some of them are arrays, functions and pointers. We are going to study in detail about these data types in later chapters. And next type is user defined data types. User defined data types are the data types which are defined by the user and they are also derived from the simple data types. Some of them are structures, unions and enumerated data types. So in this chapter we are going to study about only the enumerated data types. So what is the enumerated data type? It's a user defined data type which consists of a set of named constants called enumerations. So this is about this chapter. So this completes this chapter. The weightage of this chapter is 2 marks. So from this chapter you can expect the questions like define a variable and uh, how, uh, write the syntax to declare a variable with an example and uh, um, mention the different types of data types or they can ask mention the different types of simple data types or they can ask what is a modifier mention the different types of modifiers or they will ask you what is enumerated data type write the syntax for that so these are the questions you can expect from this chapter so this completes this chapter thank you